Hey guys and welcome to another video. So in this one I'll cover structs and give you a very quick introduction to them. In the previous videos we talked about variables and arrays. As we mentioned before, variables are data that we can store and use in our code and arrays are a list of variables of one type and allow us to have multiple variables inside one variable. Again, the limitation about arrays is that you cannot have different kinds of variables inside an array. If you want to store multiple types of variables, you can use a struct. So structs are basically a collection of multiple variables with multiple types. You can make your own structs or you can use the pre-made ones available in Aria. Let's begin by creating one from scratch, see how we can use it and then go over the structs that are already available in Aria. Okay, in order to make a struct, I'm just gonna go to my content browser, right click in my blueprints and select a structure. Let's name it my struct and open it up. Here you see that I can add multiple variables to my struct and then select their type. Let's go with a boolean, a string and an integer. Here I can name them. For example, I'm gonna put in dead which can be the condition of my character as a true or false value his name as a string and his health as an integer. After that here in the default values I can give the values to my variables. He is not dead by default so the boolean is unchecked. Let's name him sniper and put his health on 100. Now let's save and see how we can pull these values out and use them in our blueprint. Here I have made a blueprint and dragged it into the scene. Let's open it up and use the struct we made inside it. Here I'm just gonna make a variable and then search for my struct. Now as you can see I have the struct I made and I can drag it into my event graph and use it in my code. The thing with struct is that you have to break them to be able to use them. I am just gonna drag a line from the output and hit break my struct. Now as you can see I have access to the variables inside my struct and I can use them as I wish. For example let's make an event tick and a print string and then plug the name in so we can have the name on the screen. Now let's plug in health and as you can see here I have the default value which I defined in my struct. If I want to set the struct all I need to do is hit make my struct and then define my new values. Let's change the name into tank and then again hit break and plug it in. Yeah, and that's pretty much how you can make and use a struct. There are also a lot of pre-made ones here which you can use in your code and you don't need to make them from scratch. For example, one of the frequently used ones is hit. What it does is that it gives you information when something hits something else in the level like a bullet when it impacts its target. As you can see, it has a very long list of different variables with different types. They give you multiple types of information such as location, time, hit actor and they are all gathered inside one struct so it is easy to manage and control. Yeah and that was a pretty quick introduction to structs and I hope you learned something new watching this video. If you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching, see you in the next one.